Hello, hello, hello. This is Jenna Cantor, performer and physical therapist, and I'm the founder of Powerful Performer. Let's talk about being the change again. I'm bringing on another winner, another winner who I know from Smart Success Physical Therapy, who really takes action himself on being the change that he wants to see within the physical therapy profession. So I'm really, really, really excited to be talking to him this morning. Oh, there he is. Let me add you on. Right now, it's a good way to start the morning, I think. Yes, Hello. hey, Josh Payne. Hey, good morning, uh, Andy. Good morning. Uh, what we found out, we found out what like a month or less than a month ago that we live one train subway train stop away from each yeah, other. Yeah, that's like walking distance, right? So, yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Uh -huh. right. Oh my gosh, the Andy. So please introduce yourself. Who you? Who are you? And what do you do? Okay, sure. Hello, everyone. My name is Andy Zhen. I'm a physical therapist and occupational therapist currently practicing in Manhattan, New York, in an outpatient orthopedic setting. And I'm originally from Taiwan, but I went to school in Florida. I just graduated last year and then got the job in New York. So I'm currently working in New York now. And then I'm always very interested in inspiring other people and uplifting other, other people. So when Jenna invited me to do the live stream together, I just said yes to be ready to share some of my stuff with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I it's it's awesome. And so it's so if you if you put it together, hey Josh Payne, what's up? Um, if Hello, you Josh. Have put it, I know, yay. If you put it together, he is yes, he is a triple threat. He's a physical therapist, an occu occupational therapist, and he speaks more than one language. Yeah, triple threat. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're doing the same discussion that I always do in Be the Change. It's very simple. What change do you want to see in the physical therapy profession? And how are you living that change right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a very good question. And so for me, I really want physical therapy to be something that everybody can use as a service, not just for people who are sick, not for people who are getting injured. I want everybody, including healthy people, they can seek and get benefits from physical therapy. And another thing is like um, everybody in the PT field. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on one second, see. Andy. Yes. Andy, it's cutting out so much. It's actually hard to make out the sentences you are saying. I know you were having difficulty okay. with internet connection. I just thought I would mm -hmm. say something. I don't know if there's really much you can do. But pause for a second mm -hmm. and could you reset? and start all over okay. let's try okay sure so i would just exit and then come back in um actually no now it sounds now it's flowing now it sounds okay okay, okay sure i think i got the text coming in that's why okay oh it be fine. <laughs> okay so back to your question so i really feel like pt should be a service that can be beneficial to everybody so even though some people they are healthy, they don't really got injured, they can still be benefit from physical therapy. And then another thing is that I want everybody in PT field, whether they are a student, they are a practicing therapist, or they are faculty in schools, everybody can be involved and then help to advocate and then educate the public about the benefits of PT. Yeah. And then, yeah. So I think that's very important. And then we still have a long way to go to really achieve that. And then what I'm really doing right now to achieve this is um, I educate the public myself through my own platform. I have my own website and then Facebook page to help to increase the public awareness of PT, OT, and hand therapy, which is my special interest and then i also do a weekly live stream to share some positive vibes um because i think like it's good as pts to address the physical difficulties but then uh, we as pts are also responsible for improving everybody's wellness to make everybody having a better quality of life so i really like to share like some motivational vibe stuff to uplift everybody 
That's awesome. What's up, Luis? I I Hello, love Louis. that. I love that you're you really are just taking action. It's so simple what you're saying that you do. You you create online content and that's how you are providing that education you want for people to understand what physical therapists do. Mm -hmm. And I, and I really do appreciate that because I mean, for me, that's, I mean, this is, this is advocacy. This is mm -hmm. advocacy, advocacy. That word is so broad. That's why it's so beautiful. It leaves a big space, a big open opportunity for creativity. And you've definitely taken the bull by the horns on this one, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. Uh, Andy's nice such job. a doer. He's, he's awesome. Uh, definitely a great tour guide. If you are ever going to New York too, he put me to shame <laughs> with a mutual friend not too long ago. <laughs> so He's like, I if I went to New York, I would want, I would want Andy. I would recommend Andy. He's, he's like mm -hmm. the, the really make sure you see as much as possible to the point where you're requesting to go home. Even if you know, there's more to do because you're exhausted. Cause he's really been like, we're going here. We're going here. We're going here. <laughs> it's amazing. You're awesome. Andy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, thank you, Andy. I know I'll see mm -hmm. you soon. <laughs> yeah, see you soon. Yeah. Can I share something? Yes, real please quick? do. I, I'd like... Yeah, okay, sure. So um, many people may be hesitant of doing that themselves. Like many people um, may feel like they are shy, they are kind of an introvert, and then not really want to take the leap to really um, take the step. Um, I would say like I'm that kind of person initially as well but then I really feel like I'm doing something very important so I just jump and then take the leap I think that's the most important thing and then it's okay to suck initially because everyone sucked initially anyway. oh yeah so, <laughs> yeah just take the ash take the action like I heard um some oh, I think that's Alex mentioned that like imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. So just yeah. take the leap and then do it, and then eventually we will get better. And I think everybody, whether or not, uh, whichever level you're at right now, whichever skills you have right now, it's just jump in, and then everything will fall into places. So that's just a piece of advice from me to everybody. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Me. I appreciate you so, so much, Andy. Um, well, if, oh, where can people find you? Where can people find you online? I forgot to say that if they want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So on Facebook, Andy Ching Huan Zen. Um, it's my name for the profile. And then I also operate my um, business page. It's called Healing Hands. It's basically educating the public about hand therapy and upper extremity diagnoses and rehabilitation. And Amazing. Then, yeah, a place for me to advocate for PTOT hand therapy as well. I love it. You're awesome. Thank you. High five. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Andy. Okay. See you soon. Bye.